what's up Sailor Guardians? My name is Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon. Today we are doing an unboxing of all sorts of items that you can buy here in the USA. All of these items came out fairly recently so you should be able to find all of them still available on these different retailers. So while I'm going through this video I will definitely give you the pricing as well as direct links to find all of these different items. Let's go ahead and get started. I need to get this big box out of the way because this thing is taking up a lot of space. You could probably already see what it is. It's a teapot. This is a Luna teapot. Now I might be a little bit crazy or maybe I'm just making up a memory here, but I feel like I've seen this previously. Like maybe we saw it from AB Style during a convention, like it might have been displayed at one point, or I might, might have seen a promo picture of this as a pre-release before it actually came out, but I've I feel like I've seen this before pretty recently before they officially announced and sold it. That tends to happen a lot when you're like stalking the internet for information about Sailor Moon. You run across things and you're like, did that sell already? Is this new? When did that thing come out? Happens all the time. But luckily you have creators like myself who post news on Instagram. So you can always follow me over on Instagram to find out when these items are coming out. Oh, we got styrofoam, okay. Hopefully it's not too messy. I hope this thing survived and it's not broken. I don't wanna break the styrofoam and get styrofoam all over the place. Oh, geez. Oh Lord. Okay, this is so funny. <laughs> it's a teapot. It's a Luna teapot. And you pour, you pour the drink, you pour the tea into her ear hole. And then the spout is her other ear hole. <laughs> right there so when you pour it out it comes out of it comes out of her ear that's very interesting I wonder why they didn't decide to make it like come out of her mouth or something like wouldn't that make sense I, maybe just me maybe it's just me but this is a really fascinating um merchandise item one of the weirder ones that I have definitely definitely but it's cute and it's a very pretty piece if you're planning to put this in your collection and not actually use it as a teapot but let's say that you do want to use this as a teapot let's take a look at their directions to see if you can put this in the dishwasher or anything probably not this thing is big and heavy I feel like it would break very easily okay let's see it looks like this is hand wash only. It also has icons saying not to put it in a dishwasher and not to put it in a microwave. So I think I'm going to take this downstairs, make some tea, put some tea in here and see how it goes. I'm going to find out how well it pours and it's probably not going to keep tea hot for very long. It's not insulated or anything, but I will definitely test that out and let you know. So Sailor Snubs testing this item in the kitchen. Take it away. Oh, her ear is falling off. Not the best. Okay, so <laughs> you have to hold her ear in place so it doesn't fall off. And the ear hole is kind of small for your boiling water, so make sure you don't spill it. Uh, yeah, so not necessarily something I would use all the time. I'll probably just stick with this lovely tool. Now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about socks. <laughs> so even though I hate the fact that FYE always tries to push their membership feed service onto you every single time you check out at their store, they do have some really cute socks and they sell a lot of them. All of these socks are made by a company called Everything Legwear. So you can find these through Everything Legwear's website as well. I do like to buy these through FYE though because they tend to have really good deals in their stores. So I got two pairs of socks. This one is a longer sock that's super, super soft and it features Luna and Artemis and it also has little rubberized crescent moons underneath your foot. This is one size fits most and the retail is $19.99. Pretty pricey socks, but luckily they aren't that expensive if you get them from FYE. It's like they always have sales. The other set I got are a series of five different socks which have glittery texture on them, which I find to be very pretty. It's this really pretty glittery texture. Although I have some of these from a Legend of Zelda release and they do not itch on the interior. It's like the interior is pretty soft compared to the exterior, so 
don't worry too much about being itchy. These are for shoe sizes four through 10 and the retail price was $14.99. These feature Sailor Moon, we have Mercury here, Sailor Mars, Sailor Jupiter, Sailor Venus. Now, even though my husband and I share a car, so I don't really go nuts with the Sailor Moon in the car. <laughs> this is a Vent Clip Air Freshener Lavender Scented of Luna. So the way this works is you put the clip on the back. It just slides into a space on the back of her head. You grab one of the air fresheners out and put it into a little pouch in the back of her head. And then you clip her onto your vent. This is $14.90. I believe you can still find these online, so I will put a link to these as well. As somebody who is often frustrated by the internet, I like to have little squeeze balls, little stress balls. Although for some reason, this is called a Smashies. So is that a brand name? It's called a Sailor Moon Smashies Hot Topic Exclusive 3 Plus, and it's a Luna P Smashy. It's a Luna P stress ball, basically. This retailed for $11.90, and it's made by a company called Surreal Entertainment. I'm kind of annoyed by the fact that they put a sticker on the front of the packaging if you purchase this online. It has the barcode for their warehouse, obviously. But if you buy this in store, it does not have that sticker on the front of it. I'm so busy though, I like never go to the mall, so I always purchase my Hot Topic stuff on their website. Ooh, this is nice, I like it. It smells like a stress ball. It's got that weird rubberized smell to it. I don't know how to describe it. It's a very strange, it's a very strange smell, but it's very familiar if you've ever had a stress ball in your life. But here you go. Here's our <laughs> Luna P stress ball. I feel like I should put this on my desk in my studio so that the next time a brand emails me and says they want me to do a bunch of free content creation for them in trade for a $7 free product, uh, I can just squeeze this before I reply back with some words that I probably shouldn't say in my professional life. Why are content creators always told to work for free? I don't know, do you work for free? I don't work for free. Anyway, stress ball, good. <laughs> it's a good thing I just got rid of some old coffee mugs that we actually use at our coffee bar, our coffee station in our kitchen, so that I can secretly maneuver this one into our coffee mug cabinet and my husband won't even know. He always gets on to me because I have like 3000 Sailor Moon mugs and I use all of them, but I only use all of them like once a month because I have so many and I only use one per day. So there's that. But anyway, we have a lot of coffee mugs. I like coffee, okay? There was a previously released Sailor Moon silhouette mug, which looks very similar to this one, except it's, it's in pink. Now we have a second mug, which is made out of the same material, which I believe is like stone, ceramic, something like that. And it's painted with Luna on the front of it and a crescent moon on the back. But the cool part about these mugs and why I love them so much. Y'all know I have been advocating nonstop about getting things that are dishwasher safe because I'm an adult and I don't have time to wash things by hand. I adult. I am adulting in my life. This is top rack dishwasher safe and, and it's microwave safe. Yes. Just funky. Thank you. Thank you so much for giving us dishwasher safe items. Our 30 something generation we ain't got time to hand wash stuff. We want dishwasher safe. So I appreciate you. I thank you for listening to us and making this possible. Everyone go buy one of these so that they know we want dishwasher safe items. <laughs> I wanna turn my entire kitchen into a convenient dishwasher safe accessory of Sailor Moon. <laughs> but the only way I can do that and have my husband on board is if everything is convenient, i.e. as long as it's microwave and dishwasher safe, then we'll be good. We're on our way. We have two mugs so far. We have two. I need 28 more. <laughs> I have no idea when these came out. I bought them secondhand. They're from Great Eastern Entertainment and they're so cute. Just a couple of keychains that feature Luna and Artemis's cute little heads. I think these are adorable and they're so simplistic, so inexpensive, like just cute little items I wanted to add to my collection and most likely use. Okay, Just Funky out here is doing it good again. We got another one. Everyone needs to buy this one too. <laughs> here we have a beautiful bowl, like a soup bowl or a ramen bowl if you want it to be. This bowl comes with a vented lid and chopsticks and it's dishwasher safe, top rack, and it's microwave safe. They listen to us, yay. I am so excited to finally open 
this really cute bowl. It comes with chopsticks, which I have better chopsticks that I've gotten from stores in Tokyo, so I'm not gonna use these. What we really care about is this really pretty, pretty bowl. Now I have three, two? Now I have three bowls. I officially have three bowls that I can use that are top rack, dishwasher safe, and microwave safe that feature Sailor Moon. That just makes me so happy as a adult Sailor Moon collector. So here's the lid, which obviously I would recommend hand washing this part if you do need to use it. Uh, this is vented. So if you put soup in here or something like that and you wanna microwave it, you can open this and allow it some ventilation. Very cool. And here's our beautiful bowl, which is very large. It's a really big bowl. You could put like cereal in here, soup. I use these for ramen all the time. It's got this gorgeous blue gradient going on from the bottom to the top. It almost looks like dusk when dusk is happening in the evening. It almost looks like that when the sun is setting and it's going down and it gets darker from the top down to the bottom. It's a really, really pretty bowl. Just Funky did a quality job bringing in some really gorgeous little details these almost look like cherry blossoms on vines and we have the planetary symbols going all the way around just these two items alone for today make me so happy just because they are items that are usable and they don't make my life any harder if I actually wanted to use them. I can just stick these in the dishwasher like any of my other dishes that I've purchased from Target and be able to use these immediately. I don't have to think twice about it. I don't have to consider if I'm gonna have to hand wash things at the end of the day. I just really appreciate that they're making things that are convenient. Okay, this giant, pile of wrappers is from blind bags that came out from Monogram International. Monogram International has done several series of key rings, of keychains or key holder key rings that feature figural character art of the Sailor Guardians as well as some of the main characters from Sailor Moon. So far they have multiple series of these, so much so that I almost feel like I should do a whole separate video, but I ended up finding a girl on Facebook, one of the Facebook marketplaces that was selling these for great price. They are all in new condition, so I ended up buying a whole bunch from her because I have never really collected these. I only have a few. So there's a bunch in my box from series one, which features these characters right here. This one is Sailor V and that's the Moonstick, obviously. I was also able to collect a bunch from series two. Series two features all these characters, Neo Queen Serenity, King Endymion, the Outers, Black Lady, and we also get Luna P. And series three. I don't believe I got all of the ones from series three, but I got several from this same seller. This one includes, I think that one's Artemis. It might be Luna, Chibiusa, and the rest of the school uniform. Sailor Guardians. Okay, you might see this pile of key rings in front of me and freak out if you're somebody that intends to keep things in the packaging whenever you purchase them. I'm not. I will just take all of these items out and then display them. I don't care. That's how I get joy out of my collection, so I remove things from the packaging. Except for these three, which I don't know if I'm gonna take these out of the packaging or not, because I kind of like this display item. It's really pretty with this like holographic type of box. These were a 2017 exclusive, summer convention exclusive from Monogram International. They were $25.90 retail. And this one features the three figural keychains of Sailor Moon, Tuxedo Mask, and Luna. And then we have this pile. I have so many sitting here, I'm not going to show you them in order. So basically these just come from the first three sets from Monogram International. Luckily, these are fairly easy to find at decent prices, especially if you just buy them one by one. I know noticed that people really try to scalp these if they have a full set. So if you can find these not in a full set, like just one by one, you can usually get them for relatively inexpensive prices. Here we have a few more. These are so adorable. I really like Neo Queen Serenity. I love the Moonstick. I love how chubby it is. Artemis is super cute and he matches Luna that comes in the exclusive convention set. Then we have these three girlies. Queen Barrel is so cute. There's our blind chase figure of Sailor V. I love Ray's outfit over here. She's so cute in her school uniform. These are adorable. And the last three, they're so cute. 
Here we have Jupiter, Mercury, and Saturn. Well, I think that was a pretty quick unboxing and haul slash review. There's not much to show you with my uh, American purchases recently. I've been focusing a lot on international purchases. So these are all the items that I have purchased here in the USA in the last couple of months. Let me know if you have any questions or comments about any of these items, or if you want those links again, they will be right down below. I also have a full playlist of all the different items that you can get here in the USA. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see more Sailor Moon content just like this. And thank you again so much for watching. My name is Sailor Snubs. I'll see you next time. Sayonara. Johnny.